Okay. Okay, now it's getting very interesting. We're going to get into the actual meat of the arguments that I will be uh, putting forward to you now. Okay. This is where it's starting to get hairy. Okay? You see, in your first video, you sort of from sort of obviously claim that reality can be split into two parts. You're talking about a physical part to reality and a metaphysical part to reality. And I suspect that this is a deliberate misdirection. And I'll tell you why I suspect this, why I'm uh, saying this so strongly. Because in your second video you yourself argue against doing such things when you make the statement multiplicity denotes interdependence. Well, isn't your insistence, of insistence to split reality into a physical and a metaphysical part doing exactly that, creating a multiplicity? So, I find it worrying that you seem to be willing to embrace multiplicity when you think it suits your argument and reject it when you think it doesn't. That is a bad sign. That is a sign that your argument is flawed. But what can I put in its place, you might say? Well, if you look at what science is currently working on, you will see that it's trying its best to create something like a universal theory. A theory that, in principle at least, can explain all the mechanisms that we observe in universe in reality. But all those theories are of a mathematical nature. And that is very interesting because they don't just try to describe reality and how it works, but they also try to be constructed in such a way that re reality emerges naturally from it. So it, it sort of bootstraps itself into existence through its own description. And that then, of course, would mean that reality encompasses both the physical and metaphysical aspects of itself. It's all the same thing. There's only one reality, as you are so keen to accept yourself later on. There's only one reality, and it describes itself. Are you, I, I know you agree with this, because that's what you're saying later on. So, I think that clearly illustrates that you must, or at least you should, be aware of the dichotomy you're creating by insisting on splitting reality in a physical and metaphysical part. But that's not all I have to say about that.